right, Nazmas OSR. And we got the seat knuckles back again. So check them out. Back from the chrome shop. Looking good as new. No more uh, rust pitting for the handles. All done, looking nice. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and start off with the assembly. And uh, first things first, I just wanna go ahead and uh, show you guys uh, the driver and passenger side. This is the passenger side. Uh, you can obviously tell because it's got that little kick uh, bracket on the bottom. And I just want you guys to look real closely in case uh, you guys are thinking of uh, disassembling and then reassembling your own uh, seat knuckles so this is the passenger side you see the teeth are on the right side this brackets on the right side the holes are on the right side the holes on this one are on the left side so this is right side passenger side and obviously that's for US specs and this one here is for uh, the driver's side, the left side. So the teeth are on the left, brackets on the left, um, holes are on the left, and it's just this one doesn't have a kick uh, bracket uh, on the bottom or anything because it's uh, the driver's side. So first things first, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, clean up all the little washers that go on here. Uh, the lug nut um, and we're gonna go ahead and, and grease them up as well too uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, use this uh, this one here general purpose it's pretty much roller bearing uh, grease and uh, this will be able to keep it looped up for quite some time so all right yeah let's get to it all right so we got uh, everything cleaned up so next step, we're just gonna go ahead and uh, use some of that uh, grease. Uh, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use just a, a brush and then just kind of like lightly dab it on there. All right, so next, uh, we're gonna go ahead and use the big washer. Put that on top. And we're starting with the passenger side. I forgot to mention it, you guys. So this is the passenger side. Then next, we're gonna use the smaller washer. All right, so we got this one all ready with the two washers. So next, we're gonna move to the other half. And uh, this one, uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, adjust uh, the bracket with the with the little locking teeth on here so uh, here we go all right so first we need to turn this one over to the outside this will be the inside part of it this is the outside of it and if you look at it carefully there's like this little notch right here and this is where this is gonna sit so this has if you look at it right here from the side it has like this little pin sticking out so that obviously has to be facing up and the teeth facing out this way. So that way it will slide. When you move when you move the handle, this thing will slide in and out. So uh, first we, we need to go ahead and uh, grease it up. All right, so next we're gonna go with the handle. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, lube up the handle too, inside here and in here. So next I'm gonna try to do this as uh, slowly as possible. But uh, if you guys see this, this pin right here that's sticking out, uh, that's gonna fall in here this little hole so basically this is gonna fall in here and this hole here it's 
gonna fall in that pan. All right, so it's in there. So now if you watch closely as I move the lever, you can see this pop out. You can see it right there. And if I move it back, it goes in. So that's how that works. In, out, in, out. So we know we're on the right path now. So that's what you wanna see. Now what we gotta do, we gotta join this one along with this one here. Okay, so now uh, I'm gonna go ahead and move the, the bracket. And just picture this being the side of the seat. And this is the seat. And if you look at the lever right here, it's out and in. You want it at the end position. Don't have it out then because you're gonna have trouble trying to have the two uh, the two uh, locked together. So just make sure that the teeth on here, the lever's all the way up and it's in the end position. Then you grab your other half, this half here, and then it's gonna go this way. Now, you see the teeth on this one right here on this side? You wanna make sure that it grabs onto these first teeth on this side. Um, they'll fall right into place. It doesn't have to be exactly, it'll eventually fall into place, but I just found it to be easier that way. So, if we just... And just squeeze it, man. And there it goes. That's it, it's in there. Okay, so before we move to the next step, uh, just, just make sure that that everything's locking. So this is locked, push it up, it goes back, it locks, push it up, goes back, it locks. So everything is locking the way it should. So just make sure everything's uh, working correctly before we move to the next step. All right, so next step is uh, just greasing up. I'm gonna put the other washers. All right, so next is the nut, and this one just sits right on top and just turn it until it gets uh, hand tightened. Just turn it all the way. And if you guys remember from the last video when I was uh, taking these apart, it didn't take much to loosen it up. So these are just pretty much uh, hand tightened. And this washer here, this is going to be your guide so you drop it in there if you tighten it too much you'll see it here so you kind of tell where it's uh, a little too too tight or maybe a little too loose or yeah it's a little too tight so you could always just turn it back but yeah this is this is right on there so um, so the next step, I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure this is really cleaned up before I tack, them, tack these together. And um, I just wanna go ahead and show you before I tack them. Um, Mazda just uh, did the tack welds like right on the corners. So I'm not gonna weld on here again. I'm gonna weld on these right here, on these corners. Uh, so these are already done, so I'm just gonna go ahead and just weld them on there But I'm gonna go ahead and put these on and uh, I just want to go ahead and uh, make sure that Everything's still the way it should work It's locked Locked Locked, okay, so everything's still working the way it should work Alright, so next I'm just going to use my Dremel 
just to clean up the the washer and, and the boat. Alright, so I have my seat knuckles covered and protected. I'm ready to tack weld them. So I'm just going to give it two tacks just, just how uh, they originally were. One on each end. So I just want to make sure I have them covered as much as possible so I won't get that nice chrome messed up or anything. So here we go. Alright, so next let's just go ahead and uh, kind of clean off all this side from the weld. Yeah, so that ain't going nowhere. It's nice and tight, everything's still moving. Perfect. So let me just go ahead and uh, finish cleaning this up. Alright, so this is all we got left. So it's just a spring bigger spring in this washer here so uh yeah let's go ahead and finish this one up all right so next we're going to do the spring and uh let's make sure this lever here is all the way to the top that way we won't have to stretch it too much hook it on there there we go it's on there There we go. Nice. All right, so we got the spring in. So next we're gonna do the bigger spring. Um, already got it cleaned up, greased up, and ready to go. So we're not gonna use the vice grip this time. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and try to just do it this way and try to manhandle it. And so it goes this way. And obviously this needs to sit back here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna try to get the edge right on there. And I'm gonna use some vice grips and hold it at the same time. All right, so here we go. on there before I do that I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, just kind of dab it with some more grease we'll put this one on top one right here on the side So next we got these little pieces here. Just gonna go ahead and just slide them in. Nice and tight. Then we got this one here. There we go. And we're all done. All right, so next we got the driver's side. This is the left side.
Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and flip this one over, and this is just the same idea as the other one. There's a little space right there uh, for the little teeth right here, and this one's gonna sit just like the other one. It's gonna sit right here, it's gonna go in and out, in and out, so let's just go ahead and uh, grease this one up. Okay, so next uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, put this one right on here. So it's got this little peg right here and it's gonna go inside this pocket. And then this pocket here is gonna sit right on that. And there it goes, see? goes out and then slides back right on in so this one's gonna be the same idea as the other one uh, we're just gonna go ahead and uh, just try to line up the smaller teeth right here and on on here to this one here so so we put this this way And we want to make sure that this one is not out like that. We want to make sure it's in. And we'll take this one. This one's going to be this way. And there it goes. Then we're gonna go ahead and uh, use the nut right here. And this is just gonna be hand tighten. Just up until it stops. You don't want it too tight because then it's not gonna want to turn freely. So when I took it apart, when I took it loose, I didn't need much force to break it loose. And here's this one. All right, so next uh, we're gonna have, go ahead and do the spring. All right, so last but not least, it's gonna be the big spring. And this is gonna sit right here, and we gotta get this back over here. So we're gonna do the same thing as the other one. All right, so next is gonna be this washer here. All right guys, so this is it. We're both done. 
might seem a little intimidating but it's not too bad everything went on pretty easy um, let me just go ahead and uh, clean these up set them up for you guys all right guys so there they go the seat knuckles they're all nice and done um, my book door success I didn't scratch them up bang them up or nothing while assembling them uh, they did get a a lot of fingerprints on them, but that's no big deal. I could just always go ahead and uh, wipe them down with uh, mothers. That tends to uh, clean up chrome pretty good. Um, I went ahead and put these covers on. Um, I just covered it. I'm not gonna put them on. Um, I totally forgot about the screws and sometimes I'm busy doing other things and I forget to buy little things like this. So these are the screws which I'm not gonna use. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and buy some new ones. Probably just go to uh, the local hardware store and just get a few set, a clean set of these and uh, then just put them on. I don't wanna use up any, any rusted up screws on these. I mean, they're too good for any rusted screws anyway. But yeah, there we go. They're all done. And the best thing about it is that they're functional. There we go, so. Next time you see these, you're gonna see them on the seats. Um, I'm already talking to an upholstery guy. And uh, hopefully we could get them done soon, but we'll see. So, uh, just check this out. They're working real, the way they should. There we go, locked into place. And this one too, this one's locked into place. There we go. So, yeah. So, if you guys like the video, just go ahead and uh, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Got plenty of more content coming up. And uh, I forgot how this went, but yeah, stay tuned for the next vids. Thanks.